You're shipwrecked on an unknown planet in the remote depths of space. Your ship destroyed, your crewmates lost. Unspeakable horrors lurk in the darkness, waiting. Forced to wear the hero's clothes, armed with only a few tools and your wits, you will have to fight for your life. Alone. In this asymmetric survival horror game, a single player controls the castaway hero who has a limited amount of time to complete missions while exploring a map full of dangers and traps that only gets revealed to them a small bit at a time. On the other side of the fence, up to three more players control the forces of evil, plotting behind their screen against the hero. They can see the whole map at all times. They control all the creatures lurking in the darkness, and they can play cards to react to the hero's actions with the ultimate goal of killing them. As the hero player, you have several actions at your disposal. You can move to adjacent sectors at the risk of falling into the evil player's traps, or you can explore beforehand to force the evil players to reveal parts of the map before you move preventing their devious tricks, but losing some precious time. Should you meet hideous creatures waiting for you, remember that brainlessly shooting at everything you see won't get you far. As you only have an extremely limited supply of ammo, a safe retreat is often the wisest move. Sometimes you will be forced to fight, though. So be sure you're prepared. By using the locate function of your hollow watch, you can force the evil players to tell you how far you are from your target locations or other critical elements such as doors, light switches, creatures, and so on. You can also scavenge the environment to find useful items, weapons, and armor, and combine these items to upgrade them and unlock new, stronger abilities. Finally, you can interact with devices you find while you explore, to switch on the lights in the otherwise dark space station. With the most distant parts of the map removed from your sight at the end of each round, you'll have to use your memory, tactical wits, and deduction skills to work your way through the map and reach your goals before you run out of time. If you'd rather be one of the malicious beings trying to kill the hero, you'll have to plan long-term strategies. Where is the hero going? What is the most likely route they'll follow? Which actions are they likely to perform next? You can spawn and move a wide range of creatures with different strengths and weaknesses to obstruct the hero's path. You can also play the reaction cards in your hands, each specific to one of the hero's actions, to alter the outcome of those actions or hit them with effective counter-strikes and powerful combos. At the end of each round, you can also place danger tokens on the map, they can unlock additional effects on your reaction cards if you play them at the right time and place. Beware though, whenever you place something on the map, you produce sounds warning the hero about the impending menaces. Thanks to the memory cache of the Hollow Watch, they can track these clues and use them to deduce the position of the threats you placed and avoid them. On the other hand, you can also use this to your advantage and make clever bluffs. Also remember that darkness is your greatest friend. If the hero manages to switch on the lights, you may be forced to reveal sectors to them. Your creatures will become weaker, and the hero's attacks will be stronger. Alone offers a fresh and ever-changing experience. Thanks to the different map sheets, you can create a different map to explore each time. In addition, all eight room tiles are placed at random, so every game is unique. As the hero player, you can choose from different characters to play, each with their own special ability. When you play on the evil side, you can choose from four different reaction decks. Fury, Speed, Terror, and Traps. These options will allow you to alter your playstyle and try new approaches to the game. Finally, the included scenario book will put you through a long and exciting campaign of 12 scenarios, in which all players will choose one character and live their story, from the initial shipwreck to one of their possible personal outcomes. 
The rules also allow you to easily generate your own custom scenario. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here on Kickstarter. Um, I'm here to ask for your help. We've created the world's blackest black paint and it's absolutely phenomenal. It absorbs between 98 and 99% of light. This stuff is unbelievable. You won't believe what it does when you paint it on objects, on your art and make things with it. I'm here because I really need your help. We've been making paint for a couple of years and sharing it with artists all over the world. But unfortunately, this stuff is so advanced and way beyond what we can make here in our little studio. We need to go to a bigger factory and to do that, we need a little bit of money up front. And I'm hoping you guys are gonna be generous enough to pre-order your paint and pledge and help us get this awesome substance in the hands of every maker, creator, and creative out there. Well, almost every hands, apart from this one guy. Basically, let me tell you the story. A couple of years ago, a company in England, a science lab, created the blackest man-made substance. It was amazing. It was like military, nano, tech, grade, super NASA stuff. It needed to be grown in a lab, at something like 800 degrees and cooked on in a really expensive process by super scientists. Anyway, those guys signed an exclusive agreement with this bloke, Anish Kapoor, that meant only he could make artwork out of it. Now, obviously, all the art community thought that was utterly wrong and rotten. I did too. I mean, oh, I can't imagine what awesome work I'd make if I actually had the blackest black in the world. Anyway, they turned all the artists away who asked to use it. So I thought I'd do something about it. I've been making paint now for about 20 years to use in my own work when I do art shows or exhibitions. So I had this stuff that was really pink. I mean, like the pinkest pink that it's ever pink. So the pinkest pink you've ever seen. So I put it up on the internet for what it cost me to make it. And any artist from any walk of life could use this because I wanted to make a point about elitism and self-expression and the fact that everybody should be able to make art with things, with colour. It should be for everybody. Except on the website, I put a little disclaimer, a legal disclaimer, that all artists apart from Anish Kapoor could use it. You had to sign an agreement that you weren't Anish Kapoor, you weren't going to share it with him and you weren't an associate with him. Sadly, a couple of weeks later, Tragedy struck, Anish Kapoor got our pink and he dipped his middle finger in it and put a picture on Instagram saying up yours pink. I mean, the reaction was off the charts. Everyone was mortally offended, obviously, and I was too. And everybody started writing to me and saying, Stuart, what are you going to do about this? He's got our pink. Can you not make a black? A black as good as Anish's black. And I thought, well, maybe. We tried, but we couldn't do it. So we reached out to the community and you guys were amazing. You gave us loads of clues and recipes and ideas and we managed to make black too. Since then, we've shared it with tens of thousands of artists all over the world. And if you get five minutes, go on Instagram and check out the hashtag share the black and you'll see the most amazing work being made. But it's always been niggling at the back of my mind that we could make a blacker black a better black, a super black, that we could obliterate black too and Anish Kapoor's black once and for all. That's why we made this stuff. Black three, the blackest, the mattest paint in the known universe. It's like a black hole or a void in a bottle. So over the last couple of years, we've shared loads of materials that we've made right here in our little studio in Dorset. We've shared the world's most potent light emitting pigment powder. We created the world's first not-for-profit watercolour palette that meant all artists could afford pro watercolours. We even created a completely compostable plant-based glitter that wouldn't harm the environment with microplastics. And we've been doing really well and we love you guys so much who are using our stuff. 
but we He's a three-year-old Italian Greyhound. I adopted Sterling in the middle of the cold winter, and it was too cold for him to go outside several times a day. So he was trying to use his PB pads inside. So everything was going great until he developed into a teenager, and then he started to lift his leg. But when he would do that inside, obviously he would go everywhere. And I could tell that it was bothering him, and that broke my heart. So I looked everywhere for a solution, and I couldn't find anything at all. So I figured, I've been interior designer for the last 10 years. If I can't find one, I'll design it myself. After I had all the material, I was able to cut all these plastic bins and put them back together in a way that was perfect for sterling. But I had to find pee pads that were strong enough to be able to hold liquid vertically. Otherwise, everything would just run under his paws and make a mess everywhere. After spending some much deserved time at the drafting board, Sterling and I were able to design and detail all the ins and outs of the doggy bathroom, and we came up with the perfect design for all small dogs. The doggy bathroom is super simple to use. It's a one-piece unit, and it just drops into the base that's made of rubberized plastic. You just snap the rails into place, apply the pee pads, which are biodegradable, and that's really important to us. In the end, the doggy bathroom is a solution that Sterling and I came up with for our problem. We realize that we're not the only ones who have this problem and it's something that's very common and not just in Canada but across the United States and across the world. And I hope that the doggy bathroom can do the same thing for other pet owners as well. It's just more quality time with